I'm going to do a side by side comparison of two most popular gaming consoles on the market, the PS5 slim version with the disc and the Xbox Series X also with the disc version. Uh, more specifically, I'll be focusing on their power consumption. As you can see, when in idle mode, the PS5 is slightly more power efficient at 90 watts. When doing nothing, let's launch the game. I'm running the Call of Duty latest uh, Warzone edition. Uh, when in the game, the power consumption is a bit different. You can see the numbers displayed here. Uh, these are power meters I got from Kilowatt available on Amazon. Okay, let's enter the war zone. Well, the PS5 has uh, several, the latest one has uh, several uh, advantages over the Xbox Series X, which I'm gonna uh, show you in just a second. I really like the fact that it has two USB type C ports in front, making uh, charging or connecting accessories like wireless headset a lot easier. I can directly charge from here using um, USB-C to USB-C port for the controller. And the controller features lots of interesting feedback in the triggers to simulate different scenarios, uh, which I really like. Okay, when in the game, we can see the power consumption is pushing over almost 200 watts right now, to 129 watts in the Xbox Series X. Start. The Series X has one single USB Type-A port in front and the pairing button here, uh, eject button for discs. In the back, we got two USB-A ports, Ethernet cable connection, storage expansion port. This one does not exist on the PS5. There's a lock key. The green stuff here is just the paint, but it's a very clever design. Feels like uh, it's it's live, right? Okay. And uh, the controller is powered by, it's not the uh, internal built-in lithium-ion battery, it's just the two regular AA battery, uh, which I also like because I don't have to worry about the battery, internal battery dying. I can just quickly swap to two AA batteries. So behind the PS5, we got the Ethernet port, two USB type A ports, that's it. But however, I can easily uh, use the SD, SSD drive plug in here to expand its storage instead of using its proprietary connection. And over here, I'm using. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, reduce the volume a little bit. I'm using two portable monitors for this setup. Um, so these are powered by USB ports and they are not draining power from the console, just to be clear. As you can see, the PS5 here is consuming 204 watts when it's in the game. Um, yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, the game already started. 165, 165. Um, I think the PS5 sometimes uh, consumes more. Okay, it's playing that uh, uh, movie in the game. So it's not really doing much uh, 3D rendering. And here is 164 watts. Uh, usually, I, I can see the pattern that the in the similar situation, the PS5 consumes about 20 to even 40 watts more power than the Xbox. Um, so one can also argue that the Xbox is more power efficient, delivering the same quality of graphics, uh, consuming less energy. Uh, but um, keep in mind, I'm running the game in 1080p at 60 hertz. It's not 4K yet. Maybe I should do another follow-up video um, showing the 4K power consumption. 
but yeah, that, that's uh, a different topic. So 1080p around 200 watts for the PS5 on the latest uh, Call of Duty Warzone and about 160 to 180 or 90 on the Xbox Series X. They both supports sleep mode, one press of the uh, power on off switch brings up to the sleep mode and I did uh, turn on the fast wake up option on both consoles which means they will uh, still consume a little bit of power even when they are not in use. I'm going to disconnect uh, the monitor so this is the power strip uh, the power adapter that uh, is responsible for providing power to the uh, portable monitors. Now let's take a look at the sleep mode. It, um, these two power adapter, uh, pow a power meter all, all um, gi really gives us uh, more insight into what they are doing internally. So even when it's not doing nothing, <laughs> it's really you know, you see the uh, yellow orange light and it's also off here. They're still consuming 40 watts and 31 watts. It will take a while for it to go down to maybe two, three watts, um, depending on the internal tasks it's trying to finish. Uh, maybe it's trying to, you know, grab the latest version for the OS or the uh, game updates uh, running stuff in the background. As you can see now, the power consumption drops below 5 watts and it fluctuates a little bit. It takes a long time for the uh, Xbox to go below 4 watts. Usually uh, I see 32 watts for, for a long time and the fan is still spinning. So it is definitely doing something internally. Uh, whatever it is, it's going to you know, in this mode, it will consume a little bit of power uh, as a trade-off to get a faster boot up time as well as uh, internal background updates for software, latest version, stuff like that. So next time it boot up, doesn't have to wait for it to get the update. It's, it's done when I'm not using the consoles, right? So th this is uh, a nice uh, trade-off to make. I can also quickly wake them up using the remote. The same behavior here. And still it will remember the gaming state, although I have to reconnect uh, to the remote server uh, for the uh, online play. But it, it's much, much faster than um, the harsh uh, power off, which means you have to, uh, okay, forgot to plug in the, power which means you have to boot up from scratch and restart the game from scratch yeah that's uh looks like it takes a snapshot of of the previous state uh, but however uh, because of the gaming uh, online gaming design nature it, it just has to uh, reconnect every time for this specific game okay now the power consumption will increase, All right? Hopefully this helps.